Hi, I'm Eric Simons, and I'm a web engineer, as well as the co-founder of Thinkster.io, which is a place where you can learn from great engineers about the bleeding edge of web and mobile technologies. And one of the technologies we've been most interested in lately is Angular 2, because AngularJS had such a huge impact on the web development community, and Angular 2 is on the cusp of doing the same thing and really hitting mainstream adoption. And so a lot of people are wondering how they're going to upgrade their Angular 1 code bases to Angular 2, because Angular 2 is a completely different framework and it's not as simple as running npm install to upgrade. So we spent the past few months ripping apart Angular 1 and Angular 2 code bases, and we actually built a fully fledged application in Angular 1 that we completely ported over to Angular 2 with all the same functionality. So you can see here, everything works from the 1x application in the Angular 2 application that we made. So in this guidebook, we're gonna show you all the most important things that you need to know in order to build Angular 1 applications that will be easy to migrate over into Angular 2. And we'll be showing you real world examples from our code base, including using ES6 classes for controllers and services in Angular 1.5. This is important because Angular 2 is heavily based on TypeScript, which essentially adds strong typing to ES6. We'll also be introducing you to component-based software development and web components, which is what this is here. And so there's a favorite button component. And along with that is the folder structure that comes along with components, which is what's called folder by feature in the Angular 1.x style guide, but essentially is encapsulating all the functionality in one given folder for that component. We'll also be talking about the different changes that are being made to templates in Angular 1.x and Angular 2, and especially how to handle the fact that dollar scope or controller as variables are no longer required for Angular 2 components, and how we handle that and the best way to make that really easy to migrate over. And we're also gonna be talking about TypeScript itself and the fact that we have strong typing and what that means for applications and how we can prepare for that. Needless to say, this is the most thorough course on real world applications that have been ported from Angular 1 to Angular 2. And you can get it over at thinkster.io, all the source code, videos, text, and more, as well as help from myself and others in our community.